all right everybody welcome to your 15th ESX tutorial my name is Mehul and in this tutorial we'll be talking about weak maps in ESX now weak maps is yet another implementation a new one in ESX and what this is is pretty much it just allows you to bind a key value pair and this is a weak map because there's not a lot of restriction on what the key could be or what the value could be so technically your key could be anything and your value could be anything like from a string to a number to an object to a function whatever you want it to be so we can actually just learn about them and implement them in this class to just you know solve a problem which you will just see in a moment let's just say you have a third party website code which you are including just after this line so what this third party website code by chance includes is that let's just say that website also has some sort of class like my shape and it includes like my shape dot um, let's just say this one is shape name equals square S Q U A R E. So now instead of getting this response, what you'll get is 100. Now technically you wanted the area of a circle, but actually you ended up with the square. Now that is because your properties are not only readable but writable as well outside your class code. So weak maps can be used to fix that. That's one of the options. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to wrap up this function in a variable. Let's just say this variable is shape itself. And uh, I'm going to keep this variable as this as a function. And I'm going to execute this as well. And at the end, I'm going to return shape class. Now remember that this shape is actually a class returned. And uh, this pretty much is any variable you like. So we have created an anonymous function call and this should probably work absolutely fine just like before but our problem is still there. So the next thing we need to do is implement a weak map. So let's just say let um, wm1 is new weak, weak map. Alright, down here what we can do is we can say wm1 dot set and uh, basically we could just change this to allowed shapes so that it makes more sense this and then this thing right here so what happened here is that you have assigned this as a value a key value of this and then this is the value now <clears throat> technically anything could go like in here like this one as well or something like this one as well or something like a function as well so that is why it is a weak map but i'm just gonna go with this for now so let's just get rid of this one let's just say let shape name this is a new weak map and uh, pretty much again we need shape name dot set this and shape name and similarly let's just do that quickly with dimensions dimensions dot set is this and then dimensions all right now that's good but we need to retrieve that data as well so to do that we'll make use of the get method now again to make use of that we'll need to make some changes here so instead of now this dot shape main shape name you're gonna say shape name dot get this so that's sort of rearrangement a little bit if you can see like that now again i'm gonna say dimensions dot get this and again this is right now refers to the key value and uh, pretty much yeah that's it for the this one so I'm just gonna quickly edit that dimensions this dimensions then here as well we need to change this one to shape name 
and this dot allowed shapes to allowed shapes dot get this all right looks like we are done no not really this shape name let's just copy this thing to here as well are we done um yeah looks like so here's the browser let's reload shape name dot set is not a function uh, okay so there's a sort of conflict right here so i'm gonna say this as my shape name and <clears throat> here as well my dimensions and uh, pretty much that should work so let's reload now as you can see that this guy has no power here so no matter whatever he writes you cannot actually change this weak map because this is binded to this keyword and uh, this keyword obviously the scope refers from one place to another so pretty much you have learned about weak maps in ES6 and a solution to this problem as well right now so if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching